name? My name's Brian from Crouch. And you are in? Hail the Villain. I actually sing or scream, you know, whatever you prefer saying. How long has the band been together? Uh, about seven years now. We've, we've been around the block, that's for sure. We're used goods. <laughs> you guys were called Fahrenheit. Why'd you change the name? It was extremely generic, and we're not the type of band that wants to go with that type of vibe. We really want a vibe that states that, you know, we're here to, to shock you in all aspects. And Hail the Villain was a name that put our comic book theme, put the evilness of the darkness of our music together. Everything just kind of fell under that one, uh, that one slogan, and just Hail the Villain. Yeah, you guys have this unique thing, not every band does, but you, your music is tied in with a comic book, and you guys have, like, little shorts of animation. For your videos. Yes, yes. Well, we wanted to go with not just making like gorilla type or gorillas type videos. We wanted to write an entire movie, and that's what we did. We wrote comic books that will tell the story. Take by the Fear just came out. My reward just finished. So we'll go track by track for the record. And the videos kind of do the the whole moving aspect of the movie right now. But we're hoping the whole movie will get made, and that's why we were in Singapore recently to talk to some people about possibly getting that done. Cool, cool. Um, where did you get the idea to do like a comic book? Um, it, it, the same way we got the name, it was just like, let's make our record look like a comic book so it's a little less generic. And then that idea spun, no, 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 let's go bigger than that. Let's go with, um, let's write a full comic book, let's write a whole series, let's do this. And then it was like, well, it's like a movie. So everything kind of jumped places. It was it was something that started out as a stupid idea and then got dumber and dumber and dumber as it went on. And then Warner bought into it. So, I mean, we were just on the right page. Oh, well, they're the right people to yeah, buy the right people that Yeah, to it's true. So why did you start playing music? Why did you want to be in a band? Uh, I, I started because I wanted to be a rock star. That's for sure. I was, I was, you know, I was the type of kid who would stand on my bed with like a, a hockey stick and a mic taped to it and pretend that I was in a band. You know, like whatever music was into it. And I always loved performing. I started with the musicals and stuff in, in school because I was a big loser. And, and I, I think it just kind of spun a whole bunch of different things to get out of my system. And, and uh, the whole band's got stories like that. Everyone in the band started for a different reason, and now we do it because we just flat out love it. And there's nothing else we're really that good at. So I mean, this is what. We do. <laughs> yeah, it's either music. Music or busboy? Yeah, we never had a plan B. I think that was the secret to us getting to where we are at this stage of the game, is that we never had a, what if this doesn't work? It was always, this is gonna work, mm -hmm. or we're done. Yeah. So, like, in life, we're fine. So, well, yeah. that's the best way to look at it, you know? If you don't try to do it, it's not going to happen. You know, exactly. you can't wait for miracles to happen. You have to make them. Yes, we definitely went with that attitude. And it didn't stop with just, you know, finishing the 12 songs on the record. It went with, we're not done creating. Let's just keep making stuff. And that's how we started making comic books and our website and all those type of things. Cool. performing you have a very energetic live performance do you think frontmen need to give that audience that extra entertainment i do i, I don't want to go to a show and see a band stand there and half-ass it I, I, I that actually offends me i think you know mm -hmm. what are you paying for and i want i don't mind if things get sloppy in, in sets and uh, i know that our band prides itself on being as tight as it can possibly be but i don't mind seeing mistakes i don't mind seeing that stuff because it's human it's real and i think that a real person in front of you will captivate you uh, like Steven Tyler or Axl Rose and, mm -hmm. and guys that just had that or Freddie Mercury these guys had something about them and I might not have that that's why I force it so much but I definitely want to have that aspect you try of, I try my hardest to be that type of guy and uh, I, I feel comfortable on stage being that, that type of dude that villain that clown and I think it's the only way I know how good stuff are you excited for tonight's show? ecstatic I mean you know we've been on the road in the states for way too long um, we've been uh, you know done a small Canadian run uh, and we saw how much the, the band has grown at West. I can't wait to see what we've kind of accomplished here while we've been gone. And um, more or less, it's just great to see all our friends. And Are you still touring? Well, yeah, we're, single we're out. Take by the Fear, Runaway is just about to hit radio. Okay. Uh, Take by the Fear has been a steady climb uh, since day one, and we're actually thrilled that bands like Avenged Sevenfold and Disturbed and Stone Sour are all dropping records. And Take Back the Fear just didn't go away. It just kept 
kind of creeping up the charts and and I'm not one to care about charts that much but I do care about people playing the song and listening to it and that means that it stuck around that long that meant that it was a good song and so I, Evil I, people. I don't think we want to help anybody we want to hurt people that's why we're here I, I think as a band our main goals are to be the best hail the villain that we can possibly be it sounds cheesy but we talk about it after every show what went wrong and what was great and we make that better even if nothing went wrong we, we pull out the smallest thing and talk about what we can do better we're always wanting to write better songs we always want to have a bigger better show so I, I think that's just the type of people are nothing will ever be good enough so I'll probably be 80 years old still trying to make hail the villain better <laughs> thinking that's about awesome. ways to do it so that's just who we are that's great that's great anything you want to pimp out I'd like to say, you know, thank you very much to Friday TV for spending time with us today. Uh, I'd like to pimp out our record, Population Declining. It's a type of record you listen from Psalm 1 to Psalm 12. Do not take this in pieces. Listen to the whole thing. And uh, check out our website. You can spend three hours there. And just get into our universe. Be part of our Hail the Villain universe. I really appreciate it. Can they buy the record on stores? They can buy it anywhere. anywhere. Maybe not Walmart, but we don't want you to buy it. <laughs> no Walmart people. You heard it. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Peace out. Thank you.